Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. We're here to do some roster reviews today. Um, we're going to be spinning for one free roster review on this video. Then I've got reviews to do for uh, Slayer, who is a Masters member. And then we're going to also look at uh, P.S. Oakley and uh, Brady. And Brady, I need to know what your name is on YouTube because I need to keep track of these things. So anyway, we're going to do five-minute reviews for most of that. And then Slayer will be a full review at the end. We're going to find something interesting and fun to talk about. Let's go ahead and spin for the first free review here and see who we get. I like to, I like to make sure you guys see the spins so you know that we are actually spinning. And, uh, and you know, there's no shenanigans going on with the spinning. So let's take a look. Our first review today, first five-minute review today, will be for uh, Lucas. Lucas, you have won a free roster review today, and I don't see one this month, so let's jump right in. All right, Lucas, here we go. Lucas 707, Awakening Hope. Hey, I like it. A free-to-play roster. I love it. I don't get many of these these days. Almost everything that I come across is a hyperdrive bundle, and I mean, just, it's just really nice to see a free-to-play roster finally. We're going after Jedi Knight Revan, first farm. Jedi Knight Revan, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. This team is going to last you a long time. Need one more Zeta on Revan there. Get a Zeta on Grandmaster Yoda on his uh, Battle Meditation ability, and this team will serve you really well in Grand Arena. I probably would put this team on defense in Grand Arena for a minute, even though, as we know, you're kind of facing these giant rosters, so maybe you just save it for offense and throw some crap out there on defense and see what you got. I like your troopers kind of getting farmed. I definitely think these guys are worth a gear 12, at least on the troopers, and go ahead and relic Jedi Knight Revan while you're at it. You're working on CLS. You got Wampa at five stars. I like the start. I like everything we're getting started with here. Let's take a look at these ships. You know, this is just great. I'm really happy. I, I know, I know it doesn't look like I should be happy. You know, it's like, oh, 861,000 getting started, you know, five-star capital ship. You know, I've got to think that he's got to be getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, so definitely getting uh, all the Zeta mats that, that, that Lucas needs here every week, six Zeta mats. I got to tell you, this is, I love this farming path. Let me, let me take a look at one thing here. I want you to be farming for the executor. If I'm going to be doing it, if I'm starting at a free-to-play on my own today, Executor is so important just to get yourself to the top of Fleet Arena because right now you're probably getting pounded in Fleet Arena. And the only way to get your daily crystals in Fleet Arena is to go for Executor. So think about that. It would be TIE Advanced and TIE Bomber over here. And for the Bounty Hunters, it would be House 2, Slave 1, and, uh, and uh, Cad Bane, Xanadu Blood, IG-2000, and Razor Crest. So I would be thinking about that right now if I were you. I do like the Geo Direction with your early ships. Something you're going to want to do is make sure you finish these ships to 7 stars. You're going to want to farm the Hyena Bomber and the Vulture Droid. And then you're going to want to make the Malevolence, your first big capital ship that you farm. Once you start getting uh, Get 2 Currency, the Guild Event Token 2 Currency, don't spend that on anything except the Malevolence early on. Make sure you get your, your Grievous Shards in the Fleet Arena Shop. So every time in the Fleet Arena Shop that you see Razor Crest Shards or Grievous Shards in those shops, make sure you grab them. It would also go with Sunfag Ship in there as well. You can get Sunfag from the Get 1 Currency too, but... I gotta tell you, man, I know we're only halfway through this review, but I don't have a lot to add. I think this is a great roster. I love the farming path that you're taking. Let's take a look and see how your mods are doing. We'll look real specifically here. Now, I don't really like using a... a okay, so here's a, an issue. You don't need five offense mods to make a set. You only need four, and you, you can put the speed mod on somebody else that needs speed. You don't really... So this is another thing with mods. You don't really want to have a defense primary stat on an offense mod. It doesn't really go together in almost any situation. This is nice. Offense and offense. I'd rather see offense and offense here. Or sub this one out since you've already got four other offense mods. Maybe you go... Man, this is nice. These are nice speeds for where you are in the game. Maybe make this. If you've got anything out there that's offense, you know, a, a health triangle that's offense, put a health triangle on here with an offense primary for Yoda, and then maybe get a, a, a health... Um, arrow here, it's got 30 speed on it, put it on Yoda. But man, I, I generally like the idea. You're on the right path. Let's look at, now, PS should be a full speed set, right? And it's wrong. So you want to have a full speed set here. Bring that speed arrow over to Piet. Find a couple more speed mods and get them on here. You just want Piet to be as fast as possible so he gets your, your Imperial Trooper turn meter train rolling. You want to get this Zeta on Imperial Emperor's Trap. That'll be the first Zeta to get for your Imperial Troopers. You need to get Rele uh, Revan's third Zeta and maybe Grandmaster Yoda's Zeta here first. And then Revan's third Zeta. Then do the uh, Emperor's Trap on Admiral Priet. Priet. 
Let's look at Veers. Make sure you got his leader ability maxed out. It is good. So you got a nice little Veers team pumping here. Keep farming the mods. How much? You know, let's talk about what goes in these guys. So Yoda is going to be offense. Piet is speed. Dark Trooper is offense, 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 offense. And you got the right ideas started here. Take that. Take one of those offense mods off Yoda and put it on Dark Trooper. Now you could start off with the offense mod that's got a defense primary here maybe just to get it started then later you want to switch over to an offense offense but you want all as much offense i think you've got the right idea for starting your mods here you just need to keep farming and grinding those mods i love oh look at revan here now this could be disappointing i'm gonna be sad here i don't like that mod um that's fine that's fine you know i feel sad that you took all these six dots because they aren't very good go watch my mods 101 and my mods playlist it's going to help you out a lot I love your farming path. Our next review is for Brady. And Brady, if you're out there, I need to know your YouTube name because I don't have a Brady. And I've added a column now for YouTube name on the spreadsheet. By the way, if you are a Knights of Nooch member or even a Masters member, you can access a spreadsheet. I'll put it I'll put it in the uh, in the link. It's a, it's a Google Share doc that you can go on there and put the details. And I, I'll do your review in one of these videos for you. All right, so let's, let's get the timer started for Brady and make sure it's up and running. There we go. Okay, Brady. So Brady says... Jedi Knight Luke once Rolo is done, then into Jedi Master Luke to Jedi Knight Revan to make out Jedi Master Luke team. Want a side farm shock team, 500 versus negotiator, waiting, waiting, just wanting to see teams I can build on my roster. I have a lot of level ones and characters needed for teams. Okay, that's interesting. Jedi Knight Luke once Rolo is done. Let's go take a look at those rebels right now to see what the story is there. So I see, uh, where's Rolo? Where is she? Rolo is, uh, maybe she's done now. Maybe she's been done since this. There she is. Now she's done. Let's go see if he got Jedi Knight Luke done as well. This has been a, uh, a couple weeks ago that he put this in here, but let's see. There's Jedi Knight Luke. Okay, Jedi Knight Luke is on the roster. You need that second Zeta. You need that Zeta on him. Then Jedi Master Luke to Jedi Knight Revan. You're probably right around the corner. It looks like you purchased the bundle. Uh, not Rebel Fighter. Rebel. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you're going to be right around the corner. I hope Mon Mothma. There's R2-D2. There's Mon Mothma. I saw her on there. I clicked on her on accident. So... Right around the corner from Jedi Master Luke on the roster. That'll be really great and a nice add to what you've got so far, which is at the moment, Kylo. So you're going to be adding Jedi Master Luke to Kylo. That's a cool thing. You want to farm 500 first and negotiator. Now, let me look at the 500 first here. They're, um, okay, he's working on it, but let me see something. Are you working on gas with the 500 first or just the 500 first? There's Padme, Ahsoka, 3PO, General Kenobi, and Shock T is not ready. Let's go look at the separatists here. Because when I hear 500 first, I think of Gas, General Anakin Skywalker, or General Skywalker as the case may be. There's uh, Magna Guard, Battle Droid, Droidica, B1. Okay, so I would right now be farming Shock T and B1 to get ready for Gas. If you're going to farm the 500 first, get yourself ready for Gas on the roster as well. That's my advice there uh, when you're working on that. So then as far as what else did we farm? So we got a resistance bundle here. So why aren't we farming Ray? Let's go take a look and see our resistance or our resistance ships. We got Raz at four stars, so you got to be thinking about Ray, and you're thinking about Negotiator too, huh? Let's take a look at this Galactic Republic fleet. Okay, so he's got Plo Koon. Okay, so we got a Gear Twelve Anakin. Negotiator's going to be okay with this. You definitely need to farm the the Galactic Republic Y wing to go along here, and Plo Koon, you'll need to get him up and get his uh, reinforcement ability up so that Plo Koon will work in full on that Negotiator. Do you have the um? Do you have the Malevolence already? No. Boy, Malevolence would be a much quicker path for you to get a really nice ship out there. But if you want to farm Negotiator, you may already be in on it, uh, I guess. So let's look at the Bounty Hunters. I'm going to look here again. I'm always looking for Executor. Well, you're close to Executor there. And you're close to Executor here. So make sure you're farming those characters for that. Let's look at these Imperial Troopers. Piet's not ready to go. And I'm going to guess that we're working on Bounty. We got well, we, we did a Finalizer bundle, right? Yeah. So... We got these three characters, Dengar and I. Okay, working on yeah, definitely working on Executor as well. So a lot of level. So what do you? What does he? He wants to know what else to work on after that. So we're looking at. We got Kylo. We're gonna get Jedi Master Luke. We're gonna get Executor. I would say Ray is next for you. I mean, just get. You've got the stuff for Ray. Go get Ray. But also gas. Get this gas farm gun. Get Shock T and B1 farmed. You're gonna add gas to your 500 first for sure. So those are the things you'll be farming immediately. Get definitely you're gonna have to relic Jedi Knight Luke for Jedi Master Luke. After that, I'd look at your Jedi Knight Revan team. And do you have a Darth Revan team? Let's go look down there at Sith Empire. No, no Darth Revan yet. I'd start to seriously think about farming for Jet for Darth Revan so you can get Malak on your team as well. So if I were looking at this, I'd be looking at um Executor 
and Ray, after, after Jedi Master Luke, Jedi Master Luke, Executor, Ray, get those things done. Then you're going to be looking at, uh, what did I say? I'm going to check Cat Rex here in a minute. You know I am. Go watch my Hyperdrive Bundle Farming Guide. It'll help you a lot, a lot. Oh, yeah, the Revens. Jedi Knight Revan, Darth Revan. Get those teams. Now, you're only going to use Jedi Knight Revan on the Luke team going forward. So, Jolie and Basilar are kind of extra. You can put Jolie on a Jedi Master Luke team there. Just be advised of that. I'd work on your Sith Empire to get Darth Malak on the team as well. Let's take a look at some mods. Kylie should be modded for speed and crit damage. There's speed. There's crit damage. And there's offense. Nice, nice, nice. That's a good mod set on Kylo, it looks like. Let's troll our way down to... General Hux is next. How about that, General Hux? What's he looking at? What's his extra speed here? Uh, 281. A little bit slow, but that's not bad. It's not a horrible General Hux for where you are in the game. Um, Hermit Yoda. Down I like Hermit Yoda down there. That's going to go really well with your Jedi Master Luke team. Maybe you do need to get some more speed, so keep ramping up the speed. Keep grinding the speed mods. You need more speed on your roster for sure. I like the path. I like the I like Malevolence better than Negotiator, but if you want to get Negotiator, you have to farm some Y-Wing. Get, uh, get Anakin up and Relic so you can work with that. Make it really work. Get Plo Koon up and running too. I really think it's going to be Ray Executor, maybe not in that order, after Jedi Master Luke. Then you work on your Revan's teams and get those up and running and get gas along the way and you'll be in great shape. There you go, Brady. Let me know what your name is on YouTube, please. All right, let's get looking at another Knights of Nooch member. P.S. Oakley here. What do we got written down? Oh, uh, we've got... Oh my goodness, I'm losing seconds as I go. Finishing Cal and Lord Vader in the next month or so. Nice. Gonna take a break and get the Ufu team up and running. Then go into Leia, then Inquisitors. No push from Guild to get Reva, so they're on the back burner. Okay, so Cal and Lord Vader. That's an interesting little combo. Oh, you got Cal! Cal's done! Cal is there! Congratulations! Again, these are from like the 8th of March. I'm a little bit behind on these, but that's my fault. Uh, so let's look at those Jedi. Let's take... I, I just like to gander at Cal here. I like this Jedi Cal. What a great model. Um, just tremendous, tremendous. Making you gotta get some you gotta get some Omicrons and or Zetas here, it looks like. So get all that working with Jedi Master Luke. That's gonna be awesome. Leia is their Lord Vader in the next month or so. Let's look at these Bad Batch here and see what Bad Batch are looking like. So there's Lord Vader. That's gonna be in the next month or so. You got about got about six hundred uh um uh what are they called? Chirotex here to finish. I don't know, man. I don't know if I see Lord Vader in the next month or so. Where is General Skywalker is eight? Um, Padme is seven. Okay, working on it. I get that you're working on it. I just don't know if I see it in the next month or so, but very soon. Let's take a look at that Ufu team. I did see Hondo in there. Hondo, oh, he's not, not Ufu, but then we're going to be looking at Seer Junda, Cal Kestis, Terran Malakos in there. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. Do we have Starkiller? Yes, we have Starkiller. Okay, so going to be working on that next. And then Inquisitors. I love the idea of Inquisitors. Even if your guild isn't pushing for them, the nice thing is, on a roster like this where you've already got Luke and Kylo and Jabba and Kenobi and Rey and Sith the Turtle, and you're going to be adding Lord Vader and um, and maybe Leia down the road here too, the Inquisitors make a lot of sense on this roster to get yourself those two uh, to get yourself those two assault battles every month. You know, I saw somebody earlier was doing Inquisitors, and they were like had a bunch of other stuff to finish, so they didn't they were not ready for Inquisitors. This roster is ready for Inquisitors, and I, I would highly encourage you to get them. Go get Grand Inquisitor, do those assault battles every month, and get yourself a bunch of extra stuff this in the next 12 months from those those two assault battles every month. And uh, yeah, I guess your guild's not doing Reva. It's a little disappointing. I'm, I'm sad to hear that because Reva would really transform that team. What about Leia? How far are you doing on... How are you... Let's take a look here. Princess Nisa's five stars. Yeah, so not really ready for Leia yet. Where's Drogon? Um, Drogon is... Drogon is down there. So yeah, not ready for Leia, but let me check your Phoenix because I want to see a Captain Rex up and running. Get that Captain Rex done, please. I say it all the time, but please get Captain Rex. Get some Zetas on here. Get some Omicrons. Make this team work. Make it a great... It's just a great team that only needs one more character to, to get it up and running. What else is happening on this roster? Let's scroll down. Let's go to the ships. So I'm going to assume we have Executor. Looks like we might be working on Leviathan. Oh, we got them all! We've got them all done and done nice. So that's great. That's great. But I see something that's lacking here, and it's this Malevolence fleet. I know you got all three of the main big fleets, but, you know, these these this fleet, these guys at at least gear 12, this is going to do some things for you. So I would really be looking at getting more gear levels on your Geos just to help with your Malevolence fleet. I'm sure there's going to be a lifter sometime in the near future. I just, I just see it happening. So... These Geos can really help your Separatist fleet. Let's take a look at that at Negotiator fleet. That one's looking much better. And when you when you relic out those Bad Batch for Lord Vader, this is going to be a force to deal with. Probably take Plo Koon to gear 12. Just make him a little bit better. Make him help stay around a little bit longer. 
add some more turn meter, put some more taunting on, whatever he's going to have. I, I like the roster. I don't think you need a lot of help with farming paths. This is looking great. Really nicely done. Uh, I, I love I love to see those Inquisitors. Those Inquisitors are going to look really nice on here with Lord Vader and then eventually Leia. So let's do this. I clicked on Lumi on accident. Let's go take a look at some speed mods here and see what we got. Uh, and how are you Datacrons? A, a roster like this could use some Datacrons. You got the Ray Datacron. Again, I think that's second to actually the Holdo Datacron is going to be better than Ray, but still, crit chance, health, protection, offense, protection. That's going to be a significant data Datacron for Ray on your team. Really nice. Really nice. I think the first time she dies, she revives. That's going to be cool. You'll enjoy that. Uh, so Jedi Master Kenobi is your fastest. Let's look at his mods. Don't look at Jedi Master Kenobi very often. We got speed. We got health. We got protection. Really, you want more health than protection here because, hey, you know, the, the bonus protection that he gives out, like right here, uh, they all recover health and protection. They all gain protection up. That's based on your max health. So probably health would be better here than protection or maybe even offense. But protection is kind of a secondary step. But your, your mods look great. The mods look tremendous. Look at Commander Ahsoka, the first non-GL here. She's going to be really fast. Let's just pull this open right here. 318. That's not really fast. That's just kind of fast. I think you could use some more speed on this roster. You're actually lacking for speed. We might wrap this up here with a need for speed for sure. How fast is Finn? Boy, that's pretty slow. Let's drop a need for speed and that'll do it. Maybe. I feel the need. The need for speed. Ow! Okay, our final review today is for Slayer. Slayer is a Masters member. Slayer! Review! Hey, big thanks to Slayer for allowing us to do it this way. Alright, Slayer. Hey, Slayer, thanks for allowing me to, to add this to as part of a video. Again, guys, the spreadsheet is out there, or the shared Google Doc is out there. I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video, so you can go share your ally code in there. For It's primarily for Knights of Nooch members, and then I'll do your roster review on a video like this for the month. Um, and we're running out of time for Knights of Nooch members. I can't just guarantee if you get it in like the last few days of the month that I'll get it done because we got Eastern, just stuff's going on. So get in there soon. Even Masters members, you can fill it in there and I'll get your review done on a video like this. So Slayer's got Jedi Master Luke, Slayer's got Executors, Slayer's in Kyber 3. Let's see what Slayer uh, said about uh, their roster. One moment here. Uh, so Slayer says we'll be unlocking Leviathan in April. Ooh. Followed by Mandatory Cal and Mandatory Cal and Seer for the Guild. At 6.6 .6 million, you're doing mandatory Cal and Seer. Wow. Then Jabba, not sure where to go between Inquisitors, Leia, Profundity, or something else. Also, how do I survive in Kyber? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. How do you survive in Kyber? I mean, you're surviving. You're in Kyber 3. You're surviving. I guess you've got the um, uh, uh, Darth Malgus' ship coming, which is the Fury class. Interceptor guys. I got to talk through it to remember the name of the ship. You're close on all the other ships, so if Darth Malgus comes through for you... Let's take a look at Darth Malgus here. I don't... Okay, so you're going to unlock Darth Malgus and the Fury Class Interceptor next month? Wow, congratulations on that. But it looks like you're pretty much ready to go. you got to get Marauder up and running. And anybody else has got to get up and running. Um, Darth Maul... Is he, he might need another Relic level, I think. Um, but everybody else looks like... Yeah, you are right around the corner for Leviathan, and I'm guessing that... The Fury Class Interceptor and um, and uh, the other one are on their way soon. My brain's not working. Sorry about that. And Darth Malgus are on their way soon, but don't have them yet. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, might as well finish off at this point. Might as well go for Sith Eternal after this. I mean, you are you are likely a hop, a skip, and a jump. Veers is gear 12. Um, you've got some gear levels for, for Sith Eternal Emperor. you got to go Krennic 7 stars. That's not that hard. After doing all the Sith, I would say, uh, where's Stark? No Stark at all? He's an easy farm. I would say, I would go for Sith Eternal next as, as part of your farm. So let's see here. Mandatory Cal and Seer. I, 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 are you saying that as part of one team or Jedi Knight Cal? Are you, do you mean like, do you mean like Seer and, I can't believe you're at 6.5 million. Are you like, are you punching up to a big, huge guild that's requiring Seer and Cal? That's a weird mandatory to have in a guild. I'm guessing it's not Jedi Knight Cal, but it's just Seer and Cal on an Ufu team, but you would need more Ufus to go along. Like, I guess you could put Commander Ahsoka, but that makes Jedi Master Kenobi not that great. Um, uh, do you have Terran Malakos? No, I don't know who you're going to put on that team. 
I find that to be an odd uh, mandatory requirement for a guild that where you're at 6.6 million. I, maybe I'm missing the boat. Maybe they really want it for TW or something. I'm not sure. Um, or maybe they want them for Rote, Rise of the Empire. Not sure where to go after between Inquisitors, Layout, Profundity, or something else. How do I survive? Kyber's, Kyber's a, a weird beast, man. Um, Datacrons help me survive in Kyber a lot. Datacrons are a huge help to me being in Kyber. I'll just say that. As far as surviving, I got as high as Kyber 2 with my free-to-play account, and I got knocked down to Kyber 3. It was really a bad experience. I would say with your roster in Kyber 3, let me look here. Three Galactic Legends, that's what I've got, and you've got Starkiller, and then for ships, got Executor, and then let's take a look at these, uh, these off. Okay, that's a good fleet. That's an okay fleet. Honestly, probably the way for you to survive in Kyber. Your best opportunity. Let me look at the first order here. Bow to the first order! You got this ready for executor counters, which is becoming more difficult as people put different fleets out there, but... There's two options. Executor, fleet, only defense. You put executor on defense, you keep everything else for offense on your fleet, you keep all your characters, you throw a bunch of poo out there on on uh, defense as well. Now you could maybe throw Ray with Ben Solo out on defense. I see you're working on Ben Solo here. So if you get him relicked up, even maybe now, you could throw him out there and throw Ray with Ben Solo out there on defense. You know, get and Jedi training Ray, get her out on that team as well. Um, it may or may not hold, but it might get you some holds. That might be your only option. But as far as Supreme Leader Kylo and uh, who else did you have? And Jedi Master Luke, you really, those are guys are off. They're offensive GLs. You don't want them on defense. You don't have Darth Malgus quite yet. So what I would say, I would probably, if I were you right now, I'd probably be going with Executor on defense. And maybe Ray, but everything else just poo. Just the rest is just poo out there. To see if you can get some holds. You're probably not going to get a hold with one Galactic Legends. You probably just save her for offense. Go with Executor. See what it does for you. And everything else is an offense. You just got to wipe the other guy out and hope that your Executor holds. Or hope that they take a second try against Executor. And that's your best route for holding on in Kyber. That would be my best advice there. Um, what do you, you said? Profundity. Let's take a look at profundity right now. Rogue One. Well, Radis isn't farmed. I don't think he. I honestly. Once you get Leviathan, see. Hang on a second. No scythe. I um, which is going to help you counter Leviathan, sort of. I. It's supposed to be a counter. I have, I have trouble with that the counter. Um, if I had this roster, I'd be putting um, Executor and Leviathan back on defense and everything else just garbage and do your best to clear them. Um, and I would say I like the idea of Inquisitors next. Now let me take a look at your Ewoks. Uh, niece is not closed. Yeah, let me look at your Inquisitors. I love the idea of the Inquisitors next on your roster. It sounds like maybe you're in Rote. That's why you need to get Cal and Seer in there. Um, and getting the Inquisitors done will be, help you contribute to um, the, the Reva farm. But also get you those Assault Battles. And also, when you get Grand Inquisitor, then you can activate the side. I don't know if you got the side ready to activate it if you're getting close. But you got to think long term. Even if you're like three, four, five months away from Scythe, give you that Leviathan counter or give you that Executor counter on, on offense. You need to get Grand Inquisitor done. So I love the idea of Inquisitors here. Leia's a little farther off for you at the moment. And also, um, you know, these characters, you're good. Good job on Captain Rex. That Gear 12 Captain Rex is already elevating. I think about some Zetas out here on um, Kanan, Hera, Sabine. Make that team even better and get him Relic for sure. But good job there. I think that maybe Leia is somebody you go after once these... Um, what am I looking at here? Once, you know, Scout Trooper and Nisa and, and Drogon are double shard farmable, maybe that's the point where you start looking at um, at going after Leia at that point. 
So I would I talk about it. I do Inquisitors first. That's I do your Leviathan Inquisitors and then move into Leia from there. Um, boy, you got if you had Dark Trooper, then Veers and Range Trooper. I guess you're putting Gideon in there. Gideon could really use his Zeta and a Gear 12 for sure if you're putting him on this team. And if you get the Zeta, that gets him a little more flexibility to play with a Padme team, which you don't really have Padme at all either. So, you know, that Gidme team is pretty cool. Oh, did I miss the founder first? Repio, Ahsoka, Kenobi, Padme's there. Shock T is seven stars. That was on accident. Hang on. Grievous, okay. At Watt Tambor, Magnagar, Juridica. I would start thinking about, you know, as the year moves forward, it seems like there's going to be more Galactic Republic and Separatist stuff coming around. I would start thinking about your gas and Jedi Master Kenobi. Because you had Cat, right? Yeah. No, not there. I would I would probably do your Leviathan, your Inquisitors, and then maybe jump into a gas farm and from there into a Jedi Master Kenobi farm. I think that'd be a really good progression for this roster here. And then you'd be sitting there with two capital ships and Jedi Master Kenobi. I think I think profundity can be down the road for you. I don't think it's your 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 top priority at the moment. Uh, I would probably do Leia after that, you know. So you'd add Jedi Master Kenobi and Leia to this roster and start thinking about Jabba. You know, I know it's it's a lot, but start maybe sharding for Jabba, although you've got Jabba sharded, don't you, Chief? Hmm, let's see here. They moved Hot Cartel and it's confusing me. Okay. You got Jabba sharded, except for Embo. You could use Embo. Maybe it's Inquisitors, Jabba, Jedi Master Kenobi, Leia. I, that's what I... I, I think you, you should... Far, you can get your Inquisitors done. I might do Jabba next. Uh, I might do Jabba next, just because you get that Smuggler's Run 2 every month, and he's so good on defense. And Jedi Master Kenobi, and then Leia. That might be the path I go. I like it, man. I like the roster. Let's take a look at some mods. SLKR. Modded for speed and crit day. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Who's your fastest non-GL? Marjate? Ah, I got it right. Yeah, I might have seen it subconsciously a minute ago, but I didn't remember that. 344. She's doing all right. Does she have potency down here? And you're on top of the mods. You're on top of the datacrons. Um, I mean, the roster looks really good. I don't know what to say to you, man, but I really think that... I think you catch Rask and Ben Solo need to be finished. Um, I really think your Grand Arena path is ships only defense with Leviathan and Executor back there and take your chances on offense with everything you got. Keep farming those Datacrons. Those new Datacrons are awesome. Get them on your roster. And then I would probably, you know, get your Leviathan, get your Inquisitors, and probably Jabba... Kenobi, Leia, and you'll be sharding for Leia during that whole time you're doing that. That's the path that I see for the roster, man. That's what it looks like to me. So, well done. Excellent roster. Nice mods. It's looking good. Man, Range Trooper is slow. And you're, not, you're not going for any speed on Range Trooper. I guess you're just depending on the uh, the turn meter gain there. So, anyway, the roster looks really good. You got a lot of great things already farmed as far as seven star characters. Well on your way to. Just finishing a bunch of farms by the end of the year. It's going to look at this roster by the end of 2024 is going to look really, really, really nice. And you throw in another maybe hyperdrive bundle to that, or excuse me, lightspeed bundle into that, and you could see some really fun things. So nice roster, well done. Slayer looking good. Thank you for jumping on the spreadsheet again. The link to the Google Doc spreadsheet will be in the description for the video. Jump in there and get your roster review done. Everybody have a great day. I will definitely talk to you soon. And always remember, Nooch too good.